everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you a little mini January sales haul I picked up a few things throughout this month that didn't really fit into an ASOS haul so I thought I would show you those today I also did a little trip to Vista Village last weekend as well so there's a couple of bits from there in here as well so I hope you guys enjoy it so I'm actually going to get started with a couple of things that I bought from the Netta Porter sale, both of which that are very similar. One of them I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep. I really like this, but I'm not sure if the fit is quite right. So I'm going to do a little try on so you guys can see and let me know. But this one you will have seen me wear, I think, in a video earlier this week. And I love this top. It's by a brand called Splendid. And it's just a really lovely, super soft, really beautiful quality, stripey, like Breton stripe t-shirt. And it's got long, long sleeves. And they're kind of rolled up and like clipped in at the bottom and I just really love this and I feel like it's one of those pieces everyone should have in their wardrobe and I was missing this for a really long time because all of my old stripy t-shirts had gone like bobbly or gross and I thought that I'd make a little bit more of an investment not an investment but I thought I'd spend a little bit more on the item and hope that it didn't um like wear as quickly as my other ones had so hopefully this one lasts me a little bit longer and will be with me for quite a while so this is the second stripy top this one is a lot longer than the other one and I love the way it falls it just is a very very flattering stripy top which is really hard to come by and I really like the kind of tapered um, sleeves as well I just think that it's one of those perfect little wardrobe basics and I'm really happy with it so yeah this is what it looks like love it and this one I just think is so cute it's from a brand called Shinty and Parker I think it is and I really like their stuff on Netta Porter I think that it's so cute and I love this t-shirt because it has the pink stripy pocket I just think that it's adorable and um, I just think that it would look really cute so yeah I'm gonna try this on for you guys and you can let me know what you think I'm not sure the cut is right but I do just think that the detailing on it is so adorable and I really like the material as well it's very structured and quite a thick material it feels quite sturdy and just a really nice quality um so yeah both of those were in the sale from netta porter i think this is so cute i really really like this cute little pocket it even has a frill along the top it's just adorable i think it's actually quite a nice fit considering it's like a t-shirt i like the fact that the sleeves are longer so even though they do kind of have a boxy shape it just doesn't cut me off at the wrong point and make me seem like wider i think the fact that they are a bit longer just really works and it's a really nice length as well i think it would be a little bit more cropped on most people but for me it kind of just skims my hips and I just think that that's a really flattering length. And then I have some things that I bought in the whistle sale. The first one being this v-neck uh, navy blue cashmere jumper. I love super super soft jumpers and this one was just so up my street. The second I tried it on I knew that I was keeping it 100% because it's so so soft and the fit of it is beautiful as well normally slouchy v-neck jumpers don't really flatter me in any way shape or form and normally oversized jumpers don't at all anyway but actually this one even though it's oversized somehow manages to be flattering and honestly i wear this far more than i should on any day when i know a human being is not going to see me which is can be quite often i will wear this and my sweaty betty leggings and it could be that way for three days in a row because i just love this jumper so so much it is just the most beautiful quality and worth every single penny and then we have the good old whistles cashmere jumper which if you follow me on insta stories which by the way you should you have probably seen this about a million times but i am just obsessed i don't know if you can see but it has a split on the side and the sleeves are really lovely and long and the v-neck just is the perfect v-neck cut i am so so happy with this jumper and yeah it's just my absolute fave so I will try and link this below if it is still in the sale um, and if not I'll try and link alternatives for things like these um, that are on sale or a similar price um, just so you guys can go and have a look if you want something like this because I would highly recommend this. So the items that I bought so far in this haul are quite basic. I really like spending a little bit more money on basic items at the moment. I feel like getting the right fit and the right material for me uh, is just so worthwhile but this next item isn't something that I will wear every single day, but I love so much. I haven't had the chance to wear this yet. This is a faux fur gilet from Whistles, and it is just 
gorgeous. I bought this at the same time that I bought the cashmere jumper and I've been wanting a gilet like this for quite a while. It's very, very thin and that is something that I was really looking for because I find a lot of gilets that you buy on the high street are made to be very, very thick and they kind of bulk me out a little bit and especially on the shoulders, I don't need any more um, kind of extra material there. So this one is just a lot thinner and lighter and I like the fact that I could if I wanted to throw it on over the top of a coat or you can just throw them on over a jumper or something like that and I just feel like the colour of this is just absolutely stunning and it will just go really nicely like in the kind of winter when I want to wear dresses and things like that it's just that perfect colour that fits with a lot of things in my wardrobe and I've planned to wear this in so many different outfits I have a feeling you're going to be seeing a lot of this soon and I just love it it's so so soft it was just a nice sales purchase for me because these can normally be quite expensive um if you want to get the right cut and the right fit and i managed to find it at a really good price in the sale so i was super happy with that and again love the color i'm just obsessed and then we have the potentially controversial gilet i know lots of people don't love these i personally am a big fan and i have been pretty much my whole life um this one i just really like i think the color is gorgeous i think it will go really well with dresses like this i just think that this will look beautiful i'm planning on wearing that um to fashion week and i'm so excited to wear it just yeah i love it and yeah i think this is a really nice way to kind of break up an all black outfit so you could just wear it like this if you're like popping out somewhere and it's not too cold or you're driving somewhere but i do have another way that i want to kind of show you how i would style it and this is the other way that i would style the gilet just having it poke out of a coat like this I think looks really really cute it looks almost like a scarf but you just have that warmth underneath and I think if you live anywhere that's particularly cold this will be an amazing kind of layering piece for you I'm actually going to New York in a couple of weeks I can't remember whether it's it might be less than two weeks now I'm like stressing a little bit and this is definitely one of the items that I will be taking to layer underneath coats because it's going to be so cold and I am fully prepared to get on the layering. If you wanted to, you could also wear this on the outside. I'm not the biggest fan of wearing them on the outside, but I'll show you this what that is looks the other like. way that you could layer it, where you have the gilet on the outside. I've seen a lot of people do this. I'm not personally the biggest fan, but that's another option if you were kind of looking for lots of different ways to style this. Now we're moving on to my Bista Village stuff, and the first thing I picked up were some new slippers. The UGG outlet there for slippers for me is just absolute heaven and I picked these ones up which are cream and grey striped and they've got the kind of I think very traditional fur lining and just the fur on the inside as well and they are so incredibly comfy I can't believe I haven't bought myself a pair of these sooner because I bought Josh a pair of these for Christmas a few years ago and he loves them and occasionally I put them on when I can't find my own slippers and they are so incredibly comfortable I just have the knockoff ones but I treated him to like a legit pair um but I finally have a pair of my own and oh my gosh they are the best things ever like I could not recommend them more I'm so so happy with them. I got a bit sad when I had to take them off for this haul because I just want them on my feet. And then finally we have my very exciting purchase and I was so happy to have bought these pieces from Mulberry because they are basically some things that I've been after for a very very long time. By the way this is my first time unboxing this. I'm so excited because um I've been waiting to get my stuff out. The worst thing about hauls is you have to wait to film the haul until you can actually look at your stuff. I know that's not a real problem but you know so the first item that i picked up is this scarf and it's in a really beautiful camel color it's a very light camel which i love because i find that my version of this that i have from top shops like almost the exact same color as my hair and this one's just a little bit lighter and it's a little bit warmer as well so i just find that it won't be a complete match with my hair when i wear it and i just think it's so nice it's just like that perfect kind of warm camel color it's almost a little bit kind of like peachy and I love it. It's so, so soft. I'm so happy with it. I think I got this for around £120 or something like that, which is a lot less than these kind of retail for normally. And oh, I've wanted one for such a long time. I'm so happy with this. I feel like this is the only scarf I'm ever going to wear for the rest of my life. And then the final thing I picked up is obviously not a bag. I think everyone thought that I was going to have gotten a bag, but I actually picked up a, the bag version of this and I was like... I don't need any more bags. I don't need any more bags. And everyone around me was either shocked or proud. And it was a big moment. So this is the 
a card holder kind of wallet mini wallet version of the Cara backpack that Cara Delevingne did with Mulberry a few years back I was going to buy the little kind of like backpack the mini one that you can also hold as a bag and I love that so much but I have so many bags at the moment and I don't really need a new one it's kind of I'm on a one in one out system and um, I didn't really need any more but I love the detailing um, on the bags I love the little lion's head I've always loved them since that collection first came out and the one thing that I did actually need was a bigger card holder so I have my little one which I use for every day but sometimes when I'm having like a proper day out and I need lots of loyalty cards and stuff with me they don't all fit in that card holder and I don't want to stretch it out or like shove too much in so I feel like this is going to be my perfect little companion for when I'm having a proper full on day out and I'm going to be shopping and needing lots of extra cards and it's just so gorgeous and I love the oxblood colour I'm so all over this colour all year round it is stunning and yeah I'm so so happy I love the detailing on it it's so beautiful I think this was about 100 and 60 pounds I feel like. I'm really happy with all of my sale purchases this year. I feel like I didn't impulse buy anything. I bought things that I knew that I really needed and that would work in my wardrobe and that I've been thinking about for a long time and searching for like that perfect item and I just happened to be able to find them in the sale. Uh, so I feel like I was a little bit more strategic this year with like a bit of my shopping and I want to carry on being that way this year, being a bit more strategic and less impulse purchasey. I also thought that before I go I will show you all this sales purchase which I literally just picked up this weekend. The All Saints sale is still on and it's so good. So this is the kind of minky colour of the black top that I got from my mum and dad for Christmas and I love and I wear way more than I should and yeah I basically alternate between that and the Whistles one so so frequently. So I saw it in another colour and I was like yes I need this. It's just the most beautiful cashmere jumper. It's so soft. It's like nice and loose on the body and then it's like tighter on the sleeves. But before I go I'd show you that because it literally arrived this morning and I am just going to be wearing this for the rest of the day if you wondered what I'm going to be wearing. Also guys because this is a haul video please don't forget to leave me some shopping bag emojis in the comments below. I love seeing your emojis in the comments it literally makes my day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I'm going to leave my previous kind of hauls. I've done an ASOS haul which has some ASOS sales picks. I'll pop that here and I'll pop one of my recent videos up here and a subscribe button here if you haven't subscribed. I would love it if you could join me for more videos. And yeah, I hope you're all having the best day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.